and I'm out here at XRP with old Goldie and my buddy Chuck. And uh, we're just doing a little bit of testing here today. I made a critical error, like an idiot. I forgot my laptop. I cannot tune the car at all. I think it's on a safe tune. We're gonna make a couple of passes down the track and see what it'll do, but I can't change anything, unfortunately. I'm um, just hoping to really just put the car through the paces. I wanted to work on my short track for a really well-prepped track. XRP is known to have really good track service, but I can't tune anything, unfortunately. So we're just gonna make some passes, try to have some fun, run a couple of cars. I'm not gonna try to overdo it. I don't wanna put a ton of wear and tear on the car just for, for nothing, but uh, we'll see if we can find some close races. After this, I'll go through the car and I'll have a lot of checks to do. I'll have enough miles and runs on it to really be able to check everything out and get some data from the trans and whatever else we need to. But as for right now, it's not gonna change. So let's see what this thing will do. So in addition to my laptop, I also left my GoPros at home. So I'll just be doing a quick voiceover. This pass ran a 6.18 mile at 111 miles an hour. 60 foot was a 1.38. the front wheels on this one and ran a 134 60 foot and a 608 mile at 113 miles an hour without changing a thing. Here's where the day kind of took a turn. We got into some trouble here. It got a little bit loose. I got out of the throttle and kind of coasted down the side of the track. Watch the back tire in this replay. Oh boys, we broke it. Come on down here and have a look, dude. So I felt a little crazy on the leave. And uh, as you can see, the tire axle tube just cracked. So that's gonna be where I welded it with a MIG welder. All these all these bars here, all these brackets are done with, I TIG welded all that. So it's a nice deep penetrated weld. But this one I did with a MIG and I honestly, I've regretted it ever since. And now I regret it even more, but uh, that's what happened there. So we're going to be uh, fixing her up before I take it out again. I'm going to have to pull that axle completely out and I'm going to TIG weld it this time and get a much better weld on it. I just, I don't know how to MIG weld. I only know how to TIG and I'm not even that great at that. So, but that's where we're at now. So we're going to put a little diaper around it. So it don't make a big mess everywhere. And uh, that'll get us home. So I guess we're just going to be chilling and drinking beers now. Look at that. Dude, you think we can make another pass? I don't know, it might be a little sketchy. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm back at the house now. It's Monday, I broke the car yesterday. And uh, got the Z in here, and I'm going to come up with a plan to weld that broken axle housing up. Basically, the way this all went down when I welded that, as if you remember on my Ford 88 installation video, I cut the axle housing with a bandsaw at work, and so we got a nice true cut. And then the only welder I really had available that I felt comfortable with was the MIG welder. And we just clearly didn't get enough penetration on the, the material. And then I went and like sanded it smooth so it would look nice. So pretty much all the weld had been thinned down. We didn't get deep enough into the metal and that's why that weld broke. It was just not a good weld. But welding, this is what you do. Like this is how you shorten an axle. You just weld it back together. So I am gonna be using my TIG to repair it this time and I'm not gonna bother trying to smooth it and flatten it out for looks either. So we'll put a lot more material on, we'll get a lot more penetration. When you're TIG welding, you can see the arc really clearly and you're the one feeding the filler in. So you can really tell how deep you're getting. You make sure you're getting deep into the material. But it is gonna be a pain because any of that gear lube is gonna burn up and become a contaminant in the metal too. So it is gonna be kind of tricky. I'm gonna get this thing back together this week. I'd like to t take it out and play with it some more this weekend. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be working on, but uh, we'll give it a shot and see how it all transpires. All right, so taking a closer look at this, we can really see why this failed. This was a complete failed weld. Like this was a garbage weld. And you can really tell that by looking at the edge of the, of the tube here, how you, it's still like flat and cut smooth from the saw. So, this all should have melted in. Like if this was a good weld, this would not be a flat edge here. 
And uh, the reason that happened is I was using a wire fed uh, MIG welder and I didn't have the heat settings right. So it just, it was putting down a weld, it was laying a bead and it looked fine at the time. Like honestly, like it had a, a pretty little bead going over the crack. And uh, you know, I, I thought that it had penetrated pretty well. I don't really know how you know with a MIG. It fills in with filler so fast, you don't really get to see how deep it's going. So I guess that's just a, something you can learn with experience. But anyway, after I laid the weld down, I smoothed it all out, just thinning it even more. So just a, just a really terrible job welding this. Um, we're gonna do much better this time. We're gonna use the TIG and we're gonna get deep into the material here. We're gonna lay a nice deep bead and then I'll go back and probably just lay one on each side of that bead to just kind of tie it into the sides of the tubes a little bit more still. And we're not gonna have this problem again. All right, so got the axle out of old Goldie. Probably took me about maybe an hour. So now I got everything pretty nicely bud budded up the way it was and uh, kind of aligned, you know, everything. So the ladder bars should be pretty close to where they came from. So we're gonna go ahead and start welding on this side here. And uh, I got it all cleaned up, wiped it down with acetone, gave it a thorough wire brushing, and then I uh, went ahead and put a benzo torch against it just to kind of burn off any residual gear oil that might be sitting on the, on the metal. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get that thing TIG welded up. So I got everything all welded up. And uh, guys, I feel so much better about TIG welding this than I did from MIG welding it. But this weld right here, first of all, I'm not gonna smooth it out and take material off. I don't care if it's got a little caterpillar wrapped around it. That's fine. But also I went nice and deep and I had a nice clean puddle all around the whole thing. I went and grabbed lots of material on both tubes like, I don't have any doubt. This is perfection. I love it. So I gotta get it back in the car. I'm already kind of shutting down for the night, so I tucked everything away so I can get the wife's car in. It's a little tight in here right now. But tomorrow, I'll hit this thing with some paint and all the raw spots and then uh, throw it back in the car and figure out what we're gonna do this weekend. You know, I, I thought this was all gonna be a bigger deal and the car was gonna be down for a minute. So I was thinking I could pull the plugs and do some compression tests and just kind of get some baseline numbers now that the car's got some passes on it, just so I know what normal is. I was hoping to kind of go through the whole car this weekend. I'm for sure gonna have to get on the alignment rack before I go back to the track. But um, man, this all went so easy and smooth. I'll have the axle back in it tomorrow. Maybe I go out and do some more testing, this time with my laptop so I can actually get some data. I really need to work on um, a fast track tune and I really want to work on a super crappy track tune like a yellow belly and just kind of save some um, some tune files for each just depending on what track I go to or what surface I'm dealing with. I'd even like to do some like totally bare concrete testing with like second gear leave and like a delay for um, commanded boost to ramp up and just kind of see. I kind of want to have a tune that makes this car pretty quick in every scenario. But uh, that's going to take time to do. I'm going to need to spend some more time doing some testing. Anyway, this is all that I got for you this week. I'll be touching base with you guys in about a week or so. So look for that video. Until then, like and subscribe. Drop a comment in the comments. Tell me I suck at MIG welding and fabricating. I'll see you guys later.